Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. So guys, we've got some breaking news coming in over from Ireland. And a 25-year-old man has appeared in court, charged with the murder of teenager Kimo Reedy Woods in Drawda last year. Paul Crosby from Drawda was arrested this morning and brought before a sitting of the Dundalk District Court. He was charged with the murder of the 17-year-old boy in Drawda on the 12th to the 13th of January last year. Detective Sergeant Peter Cooney told the court that he arrested and charged Mr Crosby with murder at 11.21 today. The court heard Crosby made no reply after caution and was handed a true copy of the charge sheet. Detective Sergeant Cooney applied to have Crosby remanded in custody for one week to appear via video link next Monday for the service of a book of evidence. The solicitor Fergus Mullen for the Director of Public Prosecutions told the court the charges proceeding on indictment that Crosby jointly accused of the teen's murder along with another man who's already been charged. Crosby's solicitor Dermot Monan was granted legal aid and was assigned on one junior counsel and one senior counsel due to the seriousness of the charge. And Judge Erin McKernan remanded him in custody of pay via video link on Monday, May the 24th. So Paul, who was re-arrested today, was previously arrested in Mountjoy Prison in February and questioned for a number of hours about the murder. So just a bit of background on Kimo Reedy Woods was murdered and dismembered at a house in Drawda as part of a feud involving two gangs in the county Louth town. Partial remains including his limbs were found in a bag in Maltview Gardens Coolock on January the 13th last year. Two days later, his head and hands were found in a boot of a burnt-out car near Ballyboo in Dublin. Keane's torso was then discovered during a search of waste ground at Rathmullen Park in Drawda on March the 11th. Officers were acting on Keane's intelligence for the search operation and his family later buried the torso with the rest of Keane's remains. I just want to say rest in peace Keane and my condolences go out to your family. So the remains were actually discovered hidden in overgrown bushes in a ravine also under soil at the site. Guard intelligence had indicated that the boy's torso was to be delivered to the compound of an opposing gang boss. However, this didn't happen after the guards became aware that the limbs of the murdered teen had been dumped in a sports bag in Darndale, North Dublin, close to the home of another rival. This led to a massive guard investigation and may have meant the torso was never moved after being dumped in the waste ground within 24 hours of the murder. In the 14 months before it was found, it is understood that the hole in which he was buried became exposed and animals may have interfered with the 17-year-old's torso. Early this month, four Dublin criminals were arrested and questioned about disposing of Keynes's remains before being released without charge. So guys, that's some latest news coming from Ireland where a man has appeared in court charged with the murder of Keane Mulready Woods. If I get any further updates, I'll keep you guys informed. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.